it's a lot of more hands-on experience, like learning how to take apart uh, the go kart and uh, rebuild it. it. It's helped me a lot during school and out in real life. From the experience of the racetrack, uh, now I've learned to work as a team, uh, get better uh, communicating with other people, and uh, repairing and fixing the car. This is well better in school because you don't you don't get a desk every day, well not every day but every Wednesday. Come down to college, race. It's, it's really competitive. Well, it's not all about winning, it's about participation. Um, I think I enjoyed. Um, driving the go kart, getting it ready for the race until school and anyway. And also it's just basically the whole day. It's just very enjoyable, much better than school. It's good to be part of a good team. Uh, Gives you good team building skills. Uh, I and I'm here with all the people who've got watching it, and I've just, just everybody wants to win. It's quite mental, to be honest, but it's good, man. It's a good experience. Green Power started with us um, two years ago looking for alternatives for young people that possibly weren't fully engaged with maths, English, science subjects in school, um, who were possibly more engaged with hands-on subjects. Um, so together, West College Scotland with DYW, a uh, partnership, got together, came up with an idea, scratched down some plans, a couple of scrap bits of paper, got them together, got them in. Got these carts from with DYW, managed to negotiate with local authorities, got some go-karts in and basically got us where we are today. How we got there um, it was quite a long process, how we got here was quite a long process from there uh, two years ago. It's been quite a learning process for us all. Um, but a really good learning process with a lot of success. It's our second year last year, we managed to come first in the Scottish Aberdeen heat. And basically what we found was, uh, it started off as a building a go-kart, electric go-kart project, and it's a, it ends up a lot more than that. It was about young people getting confidence within themselves and giving them a safe place to learn, and giving them a safe place to, to thrive in the way that they wanted to do. I would recommend mechanics to any girl because it's it's an amazing thing to get into. Um, it's not that skinny, it's not that daunting. Um, a lot of the garages nowadays really want girls. The Green Power project really, really got me into it. It got me really started in my passion for mechanics. I've always really liked cars and then actually being able to fix and build one um, really drove me to do it and start me on my journey. How young people learn differently and not just the old fashioned visual kinesthetic of oddity. Um, thinking about Young people maybe were that organic, that they're organic, we were all organic, we all grow with time, we all move on with time, we all want different things, we all learn differently and do different things. And basically we just kind of let them build a cart and said to them, do you want to go faster, do you want to win, do you have any more money? Went out and got more money, went and pitched the companies in partnership with DIW. I was a lecturer and we kind of worked, crossed over a lot of time, overlapped quite a lot which was really good to work together, um, went out to local businesses, etc. Uh, raised some money and the guys came up with a design, tested the carts. But really, from a lecturing point of view, for me, um, it, it was just an alternative from mainstream teaching. Uh, a massive alternative from mainstream teaching. It was just allowing them to, to be free. Um, and that's not a criticism to teachers, it's just a 
think the, the education structure, the way it is, is difficult for teachers. So in a college, we've probably got it a bit easier. Um, and it's just allowing them to be free, find themselves, find what they like, and then adopt and grow. And eventually we got here, uh, racing carts, go carts. But what we've had from it's so much more. Um, college places, work placements, lots and lots of different things. Um, and lots of input from different people and different companies. And lots of sponsorship. And I would just like to thank everybody that sponsored everybody that sponsored the cars. Oh, it feels good to get to the final. Feels as if we've accomplished something big, and like we we were actually working as a, uh, working with it as a team, and uh, made it through to the finals. We've still got a long way to go because. So obviously we need to raise a lot of money, we need to raise £2,000 